my channel, Tripod Guy, and this week we're working on the VK Group A replica. We're going to start fitting up the uh, front guards and the bumper and work out what we're going to do with that bumpy hood. So uh, guys, stick around and uh, please don't forget, like and subscribe. Hey guys, I've just realised that I called it a hood. I uh, know, living in America will do that to you. So I've been over there 25 years now, so you get to do as the Romans do, right? Um, so here's the bonnet and here's what's going on with it. There's dents everywhere in it. Uh, the skin has detached from the, uh, you know, the inner structure. Uh, it's got dents everywhere, lows here. Got a huge low here, I don't know what happened to it, but it's a tin oil cannon pretty good there, or tin cannon, whatever you want to say. But uh, yeah, it's got dents all over it. I mean, I can try working on it. Or get another bonnet. Uh, they want, they want a lot of money for these things. Uh, you know, I've seen them for sale for a thousand dollars for ones that aren't much better than this. Five hundred is the norm. A thousand bucks, up to two and a half thousand for a new, uh, new OEM one. So um, I'm just going to see if I can get this stop oil cannon, flip these up, get these right. Um, I can deal with the rest of them. Um, but you know, that's. That's a lot of that oil can is because it's detached uh, from the structure, but uh, all these little ones aren't really. I mean, that's a doozy there. That's from just, I don't know, sitting on it or throwing stuff on it. These little ones are not so bad. This whole area here was pulled down and crushed. I tried to flip it up somewhat already when I first got in this morning. I uh, can't really, yeah, it's about right. It's just got a little low in between here right there I'll try to get that up a bit more uh, and see how we go i don't want to spend more than say six hours on that after that it's starting to get a bit uh, a bit much for repairing um but, but anyway that's the the bonnet we fitted up the uh the spoiler to the bumper just screwed on at the moment i will obviously i will wear if it's attached uh, I will Sikaflex it with proper fiberglass to plastic bonding stuff uh, that Sikaflex have. Obviously under here, they're screwed. I'll glue it there, tap it all the way across with glue. And then here as well on this area here, two screws hold that together. Um, I would Sikaflex, I would actually seam seal that top edge, make it nice and clean. Um, across here around there so make sure we've got the right gap in between the guard and the you know the guard and the uh, bumper these are supposed to be these are supposed to be black on a vk group a replica or vk group a got the guards pretty close so there's no filler work on these yet i just flipped them around got them pretty straight obviously i'm going to put filler on them but you know they're still a little bit wavy but not not too bad so get that done, do the bumper. That's how we got the grill from HDT. It was in prime, which I thought was odd. Uh, you know, it's sitting up a bit high here, find out what's going on. Well, there you go there. Bumper's not really connected. So I think it's gonna be good. You know, they get, they get screwed on here and here on a group A and the middle one doesn't get used. There's usually a, a screw here on these, I recall. Yeah, so get that all done, but doesn't that look already better? Better than the uh, the first photo, which I'll put up right now. Anyway, so yeah, it looks good. Gonna start on these guards. Uh, all the epoxy is pretty dry over the weekend. Gonna mark out where the lows and highs are, get that all done and then uh, get them in primer and then uh, yeah, get, I want to get the two guards done and the bumper and get them blue. So um, they're on. And while I do it, I'll get the bonnet hinges done as well, eh? So get them on, get them all painted, get them in. Then that means that cover can go back in. And there's a plastic sort of a wrapping that goes on the wiper on these. I'm 100% sure this one doesn't have it. It's been removed. But um, try to find that. It's just a plastic rubber with looks like a zip tie around it. So, yep. There's our first close-up for the week, and I'll just get into it now, guys. I'll be back.
fry them up off the, the tabs. It's hot. It's not as if this car hasn't been hot though. <laughs> it's true. This is the 5V cake with a replica. Guys, we're gonna detach the bar, as you can see in the previous video. We've got it all hooked up together. Um, we're gonna Sikaflex it. The Sikaflex we're gonna use is the Sikaflex uh, 227. Uh, fast uh, curing uh, sealant. So we're gonna go here, all the way around here, underneath here on both sides, uh, put a, a nice amount. We're gonna clamp it all together. But uh, before you do that, make sure it's all nicely scuffed on both sides so, you know, the sicker flex will stick properly. So we're gonna do that. We've already started unscrewing it. We're gonna do it under there as well. And then we're gonna further trim that back because if we don't, uh, that if you've got air conditioning, that'll hit the condenser. So make sure you do that. Uh, then we'll wait till it cures, let it go for the rest of the day. I'll re-sand all that down, probably scotch bright primer, prime all that area, and a, just a, a coat, coat, couple of coats of the uh, Formula Blue. So if you look underneath, you'll see that it's all blue. So I'll get that done, and then I'll start sanding. Yeah, you know, here's where I started sanding uh, the uh, bumper. It's got a few marks in it, so I might have to high fill this, but um, yeah, and here I have it, and there I have. But sand it all down, prime it, and then, uh, yeah, get it all ready for the Formula Blue. But that's how I'm gonna do it. You might have a better way, but that's the way we're gonna do it. Uh, over here, started repairing the front guards. Uh, very little filler. You can still see the metal under it. Uh, just, just straighten them all up nicely. All the repairs down there, all done. Look good, both sides. Just got a little bit more to do down the bottom here, but yep, all done nice. So I'll get them in the, like a high build primer first, sand all that down, primer surfacer over that, sand that down, paint in the blue. Gonna paint them in position, but before I do that, I need to put the bonnet on so we can get the guard gaps right. But what I'll do is I'll blow in behind the door first in here with the blue. So that'll be all blue nicely done. Um, all under these edges here will have the blue on, uh, painted on already. And then what I'll do is I'll just tape up from here back over the other side, have it all taped off all around here. I'll have some blue all under there. The inside of it will be the uh, body dentner. Um, all that will be done. And then, uh, then cover up everything, tape up here, back down and paint it, take the wheels off and then tape it all up and then paint the guards on the car. So when you open the bonnet, you don't see, you don't see all these cracked and all that. Because if you paint, if you paint these and then try to put them on the car and try to adjust them, these all have the paint missing. So that's how we're gonna do it. I think it'll look better. And then uh, paint the bumper, obviously off the car and the bonnet. All right guys, we'll be back. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's all um, glued in the place. It's got some uh, clamps holding it all together. Come up all right. Three screws this side and three screws that side. The screw underneath that way and plenty of glue. I mean, we put a lot of um, Sikaflex 227 in here until it came out. Really put a lot in there. Uh, let that go. It's supposed to be the fast drying one, but we'll just let it go all day. But uh, yep, now next thing I'll do is get rid of all these um, molding lines off the fiberglass, start sanding it all. And like I said, I'll prime the inside, do a wet, prime and then just blue so it's all one color and on the outside i'll take that all off and prime and paint the outside anyway there it is there I've, again i'll say it was uh sicker 227 that's what we use to glue 
the fiberglass to the plastic. Hey guys, so we come to the conclusion that the old bronze coloured bon vacation of bonnet was no good. So we came across a brand new old stock uh, VK bonnet. It's not Taiwanese, it's actually Holden. Uh, there is a sticker over there, as you can see in that corner. Anyway, you'll see me working on it. It's a really, really nice bonnet. So no damage, no nothing. Looks great. Uh, aftermarket ones usually have, well, I've been told this, that this back area here, right here, they kind of like dome up pretty high. They've got a crest on it pretty high. They always seem to sit up higher here. Um, but this, yeah, it's a genuine uh, bonnet. And uh, also here's the front bar, all glued up 24 hours later. So now I'll just get some seam sealer, go from there across here, just seam it up nicely, make it all, all one piece. You know, across here is what I'm talking about. Uh, make sure it looks good. I'm gonna sand it out first, get it all ready for primer, uh, inside and out. And uh, yeah, but really happy with that, it's come up well. Really happy, we've got the new new uh, rubbers for here. We've got these all redone too. Um, and we've got new clips that go onto the front of the radiator support panel that are in packages from Rare Spares. Um, so yeah, so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the guards back off because they're ready for the uh, high build primer. And well, polyester primer, I'm gonna put these all in poly, sand the poly and then prime them. But yeah, let me get that done. Then what we'll do is I'll sand the poly, prime them, edge up the inside. I think I've already mentioned that. I'll edge up all the inside, you know, all the hard to get to parts. Make sure there's a good coat of blue on it behind the door. You know, get up in here, tape up all this. Then I'll put them back on the car, put the bonnet back on, adjust the bonnet to the car, uh, put the hinges on obviously. And then I'll um, pull the bonnet back off and I'll paint these on the car. So uh, all the bolts that attach to the, to the bonnet, all these will have uh, paint on. Yeah, they'll be painted. They'll be all adjusted. They'll have a coat of paint on them and they'll look good that way. She's gonna be dusty in here too. Anyway, so let me get that organized and I'll be back. Block sanded the polyester. I uh, painted the beers polyester on it. Uh, got these lines nice and sharp now um, and, and correct. Uh, had to do a little bit more filler work in this area here, but uh, come up good. Um, so getting them lines are pretty crucial on these. Um, you know, you can uh, screw them up pretty easily. So uh, that guard's ready for primer. Front guard's in, um, in primer, ready to go. Um, so I can mount them up. I'm gonna scuff up the inside of the uh, guard with a uh, scotch bright, and I'm gonna hit it with some stone guard. Then after the stone guard dries, I'm gonna tape up these edges here, around here, tape up the back of it, and I'm gonna paint blue around these openings around the top here, around this areas here on both sides. So both of them would be uh, scotch bright painted with the uh, stone guard and then painted with the blue, like I said, on these edges up the top. Then I'm gonna mount them to the car, mount the bonnet. I'm also gonna paint these hinges up too at the same time. So I'll paint up the hinges. I've been working on the front bumper taking off the uh, ridge where they join the two, you know, the top and bottom moulds. Um, it leaves a ridge here, so I'm scuffing them off. As you can see here, it's all off here, all around here, all around this corner. Then I'll scuff all the bottom 320 as well, get it all, all done, seam seal around where it joins all the way across. Um, on group A's, um, these will cut out. So if you ever stick your head under a genuine uh, group A, these should be cut out. Uh, so we went ahead and cut them out. The actual holes are in the genuine HDT um, bottom spoiler or bumper spoiler. So they should be there if you find them. And obviously it's genuine. So uh, that's coming up good. I've uh, been doing a few repairs on the bumper, any small little cracks, not cracks, but scratches, getting them all done. I'll get this in primer here uh, soon too. And then I'm gonna set it up somehow so I can paint the whole lot in one piece. I'm just gonna 
uh, just paint the inside, um, you know, just so it's got some blue on it, you know what I mean? So it's, it's all one colour. Yeah, so that's coming up. I've got the stone, the stone tray area here that goes in between the front valance panel and the body of the car. It's got a few dents in there. I'm just going to knock out a few dents, just clean it up so when you look under, it's not full of, uh, you know, you look underneath, it's not full of these little, little dents everywhere. Just clean up these panels up. So I'll do that. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll line up the new bonnet, put the new bonnet on the car and then square up the guards. So I uh, body dented the inside of the front guards, both sides. And now what I'll do is I'll, that's been on there for about three or four hours. It's been cooking in the sun, nice and dry. So what I'll do now is I'll tape up around the edge, tape up the black, and I'm gonna scuff or sand all the edges around completely. I like to get a little bit of color on there or in there, then I can hang the guards, both sides. I'll hang them on the car. i just sand a little bit of the um, seam sealer where I got it a little bit high, no big deal. Just uh, a bit of wet and dry, sand it, just make it look nice and neat. Uh, Scotch bright, all that, and just float some blue in there. So it's got some in there, it doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, I want to get a good even layer, but I'm not looking for a show job in there. I just want, if you jack up the car and you see in there, you can see that it's, you know, it's blue and not just grey, if that makes any sense. So that's what I want to do. I taped up these as well. So when we put the trims back on, the black trim, it'll go down and, um, you know, not mar up the blue. Um, so it'll be just sitting on the plastic as, as GM had it. So, um, yep, happy with that. Off to the next. The inside of the bumper, I taped it up so I wouldn't get excessive paint going on the outside of the... Uh, on the outside of the bumper and I'll just do the reverse. I'll take this side up when I paint just the outside. That way I won't get all the turbulence and stuff throwing around. This will be taped up here and then I'll tape up this to here so it's just the outside if, if you know what I mean. So basically I just tape up the middle and I'll tape up the outer, like, like put a sheet in there and that's just the outside bumper. Painted these up, now they can be fitted to the car. I just edged them up, right? So I can get, I know I've got color, uh, you know, around these areas in here and on this top bit here. You know, although that gets painted again. Um, yeah, just uh, just paint it up and put it on the car and bolt everything up and it's all done. So yeah, there you go, it's all done. Move the uh, VK out to, to get better light on it so I can see what I'm doing. As you can see, I'm lining up panels, I've got the, Got the guards on for the final time where they should be. I've got some decent gaps in there. These things were fantastic for gaps. I've still got to adjust the bonnet a bit, a bit more. It's got to come off anyway, but I'm just trying to get the guards right to the bonnet in the right spot. So um, as you can see, I tape my lines in. I get the right curve. There's a go straight and then curve slightly, very subtle curve. So um, I tape that up and uh, you know, sand to that line then i pull the tape off i kind of like mark it so i know exactly where i've been 100 percent and then i'll tape up the the uh, sanded side and then wet sand the bottom of it down and then i don't just leave it at that because then it's going to be really sharp i just get a bit of uh, 400 wet and i just kind of like dull off the line so it's not so sharp so it's more like this um so yeah so there it is there bottom lines are coming up okay it's a OEM bonnet, so and they're OEM guards, so it should be all uh, should be lining up good. So this side's on too. I've started taping up this. I'll sand from this side down first. Go up just, and I'm only doing that just so the lines are nice and crisp. I've always taped up the lines, and uh, always have, and always will. I mean, it's something I've always done. I know there's guys out there that are, to get them right on the first time, but I, I I like taping up. It just makes life easier. Why wouldn't you? So I'll just open up the bonnet. Oop, one-handed. Yep. There you go, genuine OEM. It's, is it a sticker? I don't know. It looks pretty original to me. 
Um, really nice. Put the bump stops up to get them lined up right. Yep, so it's getting there. Start some more sanding. Bloody aeroplane in the background. So, there we go. Hey guys, so, um, back working on the VK again. It's dirty, dusty, but uh, just want to bring you in and show you where I'm at. So basically this side here is all sanded. I've got the lines pretty nice, uh, block sanded. All, the, all in here has been uh, sanded as well. These are done up tight and lined up. I'm gonna tape them here, right? And tape up the engine bay all around there, just leaving the fender exposed, the guard. The same on this side, all sanded, uh, bolted in, uh, adjusted to the car, to the bonnet. Um, I've just got this section here to do, so I'm just going to show you how I tape up uh, the lines, get them nice and straight. Um, these have got a slight little bow from here to the midway point, and then pretty much follow the body line of the car. Um, that's how I do them. So I'm going to tape up this section here down, and then I don't leave them like that because that'll be really sharp. I just get the uh, grey Scotch Bright and just softly go over them you know directional um same thing tape up under the slip across down the guard and across the front of this plender i'm going to take this rubber back off it's only on here for this bonnet so i'll tape up like that edge down and i'll just scotch bright that edge scotch bright in here as well tape up from here back and just like that leave this side of the car all the way down here uh, you know, I'll tape up that way and uh, just have the guard exposed, take the wheels off, around, drop sheet it. Yeah, so it's just basically the front two guards and the plendum will be sort of like, uh, you know, ready for paint. I'm going to put it back over there. We're going to put our plastic back up. Um, obviously, next I'm cleaning the car. I'm going to just get in here, get all the dust off the car, give it a nice bath, and then uh, push it back and start taping it up. I'll jack it up, take the wheels off, tape up around the wheel openings, drop sheet them all down, rest the car so it's, like I said, just the front two guards and the plenum will be exposed. Okay, gave it a quick wash, looks all right. Um, guards are all finely sanded. All right, so I'll start taping them up pretty soon here. Tape up the whole front, work on the bumper. This thing does need a bit of a detail. I mean, it's been sitting four years, yeah, so four or five years, whatever it was. So it needs a bit of a paint correction here, here and there, a good buff. So I'll blend in the front guard, probably give a quick, quick buff. And then after um, a while, he can send it off and get it all paint corrected, buffed, and if he wants ceramic coated, it should come up all right. But, um, I'm glad to see it, that it's um, going to be back on the road here soon. The wheels are getting done today, the front tyres and rims. Uh, they'll be back um, today. Uh, they won't go on to after I paint the front and the bumpers on and stuff like that. Sand out the grill. That can be painted the day after the car gets painted, which is tomorrow. So they'll get painted two days from now. And then let it go uh, a couple of days and I'll start assembling that front. And at the same time, I'll take the bonnet off. I'll scuff the inside pretty good, but I'll sand the black off the top, um, you know, off the outer skin. So prime it, epoxy prime, and then I'll um, hit that with the uh, blue. So, and then that can be bolted on. But yeah, I mean, it's come up all right, eh? So there it is. I'm gonna spray the front guards and the uh, scuttle all taped up, looks good. Uh, wet the floor, got something over the top to kind of like contain the dust. Don't forget guys, I'm not a painter, this isn't a paint shop. I'm doing it a backyarder. I'm trying to do the best I can in, in the conditions I've got. Uh, so here you go. I'm gonna go paint this now, I'll be back.
Way better. All right, guys, this is where I'm going to leave this video. Uh, as you can see, the front's all painted, put back together, all gapped up. You know, all painted around there and repainted the bulkhead. Um, shuttle, scuttle, shuttle, scuttle area. Front guard's all, all done. I reckon a little bit of a uh, light sand and buff, maybe, just to get all the little crap out of it because I'm painting it in here, but just threw the wheels on it just for the video. And uh, I'm starting to uh, get the bumpers and grill done over here. But hey, that'll be next week's video. So I kind of like hit that yesterday just to see what it looked like and um, knocking it down. Just gonna start taping all this up and paint it. But like I said, that'll be next week's video. Um, and it'll be the final video. I'm, uh, because I'm flying back to the States. Uh, well, what's today? Today's the 9th of March, I believe. I'm flying back on the 17th, 18th. Uh, we're flying to Sydney for a day and then uh, uh, off to back to the US. So uh, hopefully I'll have all this done. But anyway, guys, uh, see you on the next one, uh, which will be probably assembling the grill, the bump bar, all the front, uh, painting the bonnet, and uh, yeah, getting all that done. So see you on the next one, guys.